Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby and I'm bringing you yet another Monster Hunter World weapon build. This one is going to be the Endless Famine weapon, Heavy Bowgun, that you can craft from Devil Jiho, Savage Devil Jiho. And this build focuses on sticky ammo and cluster ammo to knock out the monster and bomb away. Now, before we get into a real hunt, real time hunt, let's look at the build. So here we are, the weapon looks freaking awesome and massive. Before Iceborne, I would use the regular high rank one and it would destroy those monsters. Let's see what we're going with today. So if we look at, well, it's better to go check out the equipment. So. Here we are. Let's look at the skills first before we look at all the armor pieces. We have the Nargakuga Essence, which is going to be used for, of course, sticky ammo and cluster ammo uh, retention. You can carry only so much, so if you're lucky, you can get some saved here. I like to run a heavy bow gun with a shield here. You can see I have one shield and four recoils. The four recoils are so I can shoot sticky ammo three without any knockback to get the maximum stunned quickly as possible. I also have the Uragon Ambition to block or, you know, unblockable attacks like the Teostra, Supernova, and whatever. The free element up I like to use so you can just reload a lot less because unlike the light bow gun, we do not have evading reload. We don't have any reload um, add-ons for the custom mods, so they're kind of slow. This mod takes a lot of skill. You have to pick and choose your moments if you're playing solo. Part breaker, spawn artillery adds in a lot of damage for your stickies. And, uh, you know, if you can, try to get as much attack as possible. Stamina surge comes with it. Piercing shots comes with it. Pretty much all these just come with the armors themselves. I'm using an artillery charm 3. We're using Nargakuga Helm B. Uragon Mail B, Nargakuga Braces B, Uragon Coil A, and Nargakuga Greaves B. And I don't have any augmentations on this weapon. If you're interested in the weapons I'm bringing in, or rather the ammos and coatings, we have Blast Nut, Bomb Berry, level 2 and 3, so I can craft more as we go. We have 2 and 3 sticky. We're primarily going to be using 3. 2 is just in case, and you need one to craft back 3. As well as the same deal here, we have a Wyvern ammo for wake up and we have a sleep ammo 1 and 2, just freaking because if you want a closer look over at the Endless Famine's uh, mods, this is pretty much it. You can see here the recoil is extremely low. You need actually 4, otherwise the sticky ammo will not go from high to low. And with the reload, <laughs> it's all going to be pretty slow. But that's what we got to do. One last thing before we jump in is, of course, the decorations. I usually sometimes forget, but here we go. I'm running a release jewel, iron wall, another release, release slash protection, iron wall, iron, iron wall attack, and attack jewel. And I don't really put too much in here. Now, if you guys want and you are really good at dodging, you can get rid of all of these iron walls and you can put straight attack and attack and attack because that's what makes this uh, build strong. But if you want to play safe like me, you can put it in guard. You know, it's a little slower, but it works. All right, so we're going to do a real-time attack here to show you how fast or slow the weapon is depending on your play style and your skills. We're going to be fighting a pink Rathalos. Like I said, we're going to be primarily sticking ammo in his face to knock him down and then using our cluster bombs, hopefully getting the save. The small percent chance to save so we can shoot as much as possible i'd recommend this build for solo or friends who have flinch free you don't want to use this in randoms all right let's jump on in let's do it of course that was going to happen all right so jumping on in of course we want to start with some of these knock them down so if it's safe as possible jump in and cluster bomb the hell out of it it's the blam the blam i'm gonna play a little safe here i'm gonna go ahead and reload as you're reloading, you want to make sure to activate, um, you want to use your wheel and... What's that noise? Oh, oh my, my cat's on top of the guy! Okay, so here it is. You can see how powerful the Sticky 3 is. Right here. The low recoil, you can shoot them fast and often. They do about 100 damage each. Now, what I really love about Sticky Ammo themselves is it doesn't matter if you hit the uh, if you hit the monster's leg or if you hit their soft spot on the head, it's gonna do primarily the same damage. So that's why I would recommend get attack up as much as possible if you don't want to do all that other stuff. Now, if you're having a hard time knocking a monster out, feel free to you know replace some of the stuff and get Slugger up. 
Um, primarily though, it's, he's getting knocked down fairly quickly as you can see here. So we're doing pretty well for ourselves so far. And if you want, you can swap between cluster two. There you go. Make sure you are safe when you reload. Sometimes I get greedy as we all do, but be cool. Yeah, looks like he fell asleep thanks to my Palico ability. Or I think I think he's just, he's just his attack. I'm gonna put double double barrel bombs. I got a wyvern. If you need a little bit of a, a reload period, you can always sleep ammo yourself, which is why that's there. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly reload as quick as possible. Dang, you know what? Be pretty. And here the the guard comes into play there. Guard five. So I can guard pretty much anything. Like if you're really like if you're super new to this build, I'd recommend put the guard up so you can learn all of the enemies' patterns and when to reload. I'm not perfect at it, but that's why I'm still using it. There we go. You can see True Razor coming into play, doing its thing here. So if you just want to go straight damage, just hit him no matter what. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. But go for the head when possible. And it, it will take practice. It will definitely take practice. There we are getting hit because we're scrubs. All right. I'm going to take this off here and we'll grab ourselves a Vitamance. Vitamin, the Mega Potion. Um, if you're wondering about special ammo, I don't recommend using it. I think this is a wyvern heart on this one. I'm not entirely sure, but this build, anything sticky, you do not want to use affinity. Affinity doesn't really affect explosions, so it will keep doing the same uh, no matter what. As a matter of fact, we have 25 affinity here, which is awesome. Negative 25 affinity is awesome. All right, let, let, let's let's be cool here and just like talk the guy. So. You can customize this. Oh, crap. Customize this for a multiplayer build with more slugger on. Most definitely. I was trying to see if I maybe wanted to. I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna heal. I was gonna maybe check if I can get the slugger secret up, but that I wouldn't get. Like it's it, it's all a trade-off, pretty much. It's like, do you want slugger up, or do you maybe want the ammo uh, chance to not be used up? So. It's interesting, but that's what makes Monster Hunter really fun. You can customize it to your liking. You can just roll away and not worry about anything, or it could be like me and stand and guard. Uh, a little bit of that. Oh, I'm not burning. That's good. All right, nice. I'm going to go ahead and use my sticky tooth. Dang, sticky tooth. All right, so sticky tooth do way less, but you can see the recoil is nuts. The recoil, look at this. Eh, eh. Look at that, how fast you shoot! It's nuts, I love it. Uh, this is one of my favorite builds to use. God, I gotta reload. I guess that's the worst part about this build. Getting good at reloading. So, this will definitely come into play if you are solo. Either use a Palico um, who has the shield spire or traps him or whatnot. And if you want, and what you should probably be doing, I haven't doing, been doing it because I can't really pay attention uh, let's find some slinger ammo. There's some. The character's not pissed off. You want to throw him in the wall, of course. Don't be scrub. Don't be scrub. Okay, you got to throw him in the walls. Okay, not like that. You got to wait a little bit. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Whoa! Boom! One minute till the dragon aid can be used. That's how you know he failed to hunt. He took too long. All right, so knock him down. This is where you would want to uh, cluster him as much as you can. All right. More cluster. We got lucky with the coating there. We got lucky with the coating there. No, we didn't. Here we go. Be cool, be cool. Be cool. Don't be that greedy. Don't be that greedy. <laughs> Monk ass. Here we go. Ah! Here we go. <laughs> Run. Look at that. He's still not super pissed off. I, so I can hopefully throw him into the wall again. I need more sticky ammo on the ground. I don't have any. I don't have any guys. Nice. He blocked me there. Ugh. Oof. So I'm not going to lie. These times are going to vary greatly depending on how lucky you are with the um, true with the razor shot spare shot thing. You should get knocked down right there you go there we go reload reload make sure you do all that at once yeah hey nice razors razor up ah. all right we're gonna put him to sleep who know wake up here just chill for a second man I gotta I gotta check all my ammo. Man, no bueno. Oh, nice cat. Not even get a heal. Oh, he's sleeping already. 
This palico weapon, dude. I feel like it's so good. Okay, take the time. Reload everything for the final barrage. I think he should be dead in a minute or two if we hit him with it, pretty much everything. Remember, whole triangle. Whole triangle or Y in Xbox, dude. You know, get everything ready to go. Okay. So the strongest is to still wake him up. Wow, really? It's to still wake him up with the wyvern blast. With bombs. All right, here we go. Boom! Pretty good. Ha! Ha! Let's go. You gonna yell? You mad, bro? You mad? All right, here we go. Swapping the sticky too. Let's finish him off. Yeah. Yeah. I know there's a bunch of like crap on the ground. Oh, shouldn't have reloaded. I saw him freaking reeling up. You scrub. All right. You know you're super goof when you have to use a Dragonator. Ugh. Ah, do it! Nice. Nice, get right. All right. Another thing that you can do is use Rocksteady Mantle. You just go for it. Just freaking go for it. I love using that. Pink Wrath and stop. Okay, should be dead any second now. I could probably trap him. Probably trap him. Probably done enough damage. Let's do it. Yeah. One. And two. And there you have it. It's definitely a different way to play. Um, be as aggressive as you want, but make sure you are good on evading. Pick your shots to reload. This is a fun build. It's a different build. I don't throw it out often unless I'm playing with a group who always has flinch free or people who are ranged and I tell them not to go to the face. Going in on random on random uh, hunts, you gotta piss a lot of people off. Well, not everyone gets flinch free. So that was around seven minutes, 55 seconds. Not too bad, obviously. If I played perfect, we could get maybe a six minute time. So that was really good. That was extremely good. I loved it. So, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. It helps a lot. If you haven't already subbed for daily videos, I'll be giving you guys more fun Monster Hunter World builds as I play some more and figure them out. It takes forever to farm all these stuff, and I barely have time to do that. So, come to the Twitch live streams. There's a link down below if you want to hunt. Subscribe to my Let's Play channel for more goods, and I'll see you guys next time.